Hey everyone! Today on the Cage of Spurs vlog. 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 We are going to take you <laughs> on a tour of all of our studio spaces and let you get kind of an inside look into our collectives, which is a really um, a pretty major rhythm for our school. We want to unpack uh, what we really believe to be true, even about the creative process, right? Yeah, and so our collectives are creative collectives. We yeah. have six of these collectives, pottery, we have dance, we have printmaking, darkroom photography, mm -hmm. music, and leather. There's yeah. six of these, and they're in these classes twice a week, so six hours a week they're in these yeah. collectives. And again, it's constantly bringing them back to what they're actually hearing and learning in session, what God is actually doing mm -hmm. in their heart, they actually have to work it out. And we're gonna explain that a little more as we go through all of the studio spaces. We're at the storehouse. The beautiful new storehouse. Our brand new storehouse. Yeah. That is so beautiful. We'll have to do a full blown tour soon. So now our studio spaces are fully working and it's a game changer for our movement and dance collective and our pottery. It's incredible actually. Yeah. Um, our, our pottery studio started in a chicken shed, uh, <laughs> which we affectionately call it that. Uh, we used to have chickens, we do not anymore. And it was a tiny little space that they did all of the pottery in. And I think they had three students maybe. Yeah. And then we upgraded to another space and then we upgraded to here. And I, I would say over like five years, the pottery teachers have been so faithful to show up in these like sheds in tiny little spots. So they really deserve this stunning studio. And we've had so many, so many of our studios have started in like little barns or yeah. sheds. I remember one day I was like, Lord, like all of our, our dark room is an old barn. Our leather studio is an old hay, That's where right. we used to store our hay. Yeah. Our potters are in a chicken shed. Right. Like, and I was like, Lord, why are all of our collectives in barns? He's like, well, I was born in a barn. So really creative things can happen <laughs> in a barn. <laughs> so, and you're like, drop the mic, Jesus. Drop the mic. But okay. we're very excited about this new but pottery studio. True. We are very excited. There's air conditioning. There's a toilet. All first world things oh, that we right. need. Hi. Hello. 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 So we're here in the new pottery space. It's pretty fantastic. Uh, you can see on the walls uh, the work of our in-house potters. Um, this is all the work you would see on our website um, that we post all about. We're really proud of our girls. They have given years and years and years to building this program and this department. What's so amazing about a lot of our teachers is that not only do they make stuff for us to support the mission, what we do, but they all teach. One thing I love about that is it just constantly keeps them grounded, where they're like pulling out and they're pouring in, teaching someone else that has no idea what they're doing. This is probably one of the hardest collectives I would say we have. Yeah. Um, to teach someone how to do this in a two month period is very challenging. And we're just, yeah, pretty, pretty overwhelmed with delight in our teachers. It takes a tremendous amount of humility and strength to do that in such a short amount of time. Yeah. So. Come on over. Hello. This is Jason. Hello. <laughs> this is Erica, one of our main potters. How are you doing today, love? We're doing good. We're making a Chemex shape to go with my cappuccino cups. Yes. I like it. Erica, tell us a little bit about the process of pottery yes. and how it hits the core. Oh man, the process of pottery is so vulnerable. The biggest thing that has marked me is that I found so much of myself in the clay. Yeah. It's met me in my pride, it's met me in my insecurity, it's met me in my fear. Yeah. And it's been a mirror of how I think God holds my heart yeah. with tenderness yeah. and with with affection when I want to beat my heart up sometimes yeah <laughs> and you know discipline it to do better it's been a mirror of like slowing down which yeah. has been a really vulnerable process yeah to say like I have limits I can't go as far as I want to go sometimes right. like my heart or my mind or my body has a limit that's right and it's been very humbling yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you experienced that? <laughs> How many times have you heard us say in session that pottery is absolutely the hardest collective period? 
end of story a lot period yeah. <laughs> if you experience that just the intensity of like wanting it to be so right oh yeah because yeah. you have an idea in your head and then right. you get down and then you you don't yeah. know what you're doing because yeah. you've never yeah. touched clay before That's right. right right and then you just have to trust your teachers what's one beautiful thing that the lord has spoken to you Oh, in the middle of rust. Trust, okay. Yeah. Yeah, just, tell me more. I think I first saw it like when you build up the walls, you have to trust your hands mm -hmm. to like push in yeah. if you want it to like go anywhere. Yeah. I just have felt the Lord yeah. wow. work with me here being like, you're trusting me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like here at yeah. school and in the studio yeah, yeah, and we're going to yeah. build something. But before we get anything, like there has to be trust wow. along yeah. the way. That's right. Yeah so yeah. we can get some kind of traction yeah 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 don't you love how that is it's so different when you're doing it here than just listening yeah. about a, a message on trust mm -hmm. it's like not the same thing no is it no, no not at all yeah. <laughs> when you it's in real time you actually have to practice it yeah which is so much more work yeah and that's really the work that we don't want to do but it's essential mm -hmm. yeah. that we actually just practice that's right yeah yeah well, that's looking really good. Thank you. <laughs> I'm very impressed. Are, are we all throwing for final project mode? We are. This is our last like throwing day in class. So many people ask like, what is the 18 inch journey? Yeah. Is it this art, arts and crafts school? Yeah. Are you guys just hanging in the woods? And I think <laughs> <laughs> like, are y'all just floating around writing songs on your harps? Uh, and I think uh, one phrase I think could sum up the 18 inch journey is that it's a spiritual formation school that transformation happens right. and the school is a lot harder than all these guys thought it was going to be uh and it gets really hot here just yeah. like the kiln yeah, in the back right. gets really hot that's and right. there's a firing that happens that takes that's literally right. transforms yeah. you and who you are when you leave the school you don't ever want to go back to who you were where you came yeah. um right. so this room is such a picture of what the spiritual formation of the 18 inch journey yeah. is and more just the 18 inch journey just the yeah. discipleship yeah. with jesus where he gets messy with us, he pulls us up to his face, yeah. he centers us on the will of his heart, and then yeah. he takes us through the fire because he loves us, <laughs> so we can hold his presence That's uh, true. in greater ways than we ever could. It's just clay. Yeah. Yeah. So. I, I, I think I love the part she the most because it's, it's like, yeah, I believe that God is good and I'm powerful and I'm a son, I'm a daughter. Mm -hmm. And then you get in here and it's like, collapsing clay over and over and over and then it's like i'm a failure god doesn't help me where is god you know and it's just the confrontation right i mean it is it's the total confrontation like what we think we believe yeah and what we actually believe and that's one of the main reasons why we do collectives is we don't want them to just say yes and amen and write it take notes in their journal we want them to flesh it out and Pottery is it's a, it's a great way to uh, figure out very quickly what you believe to be true about yourself That's right. and about the Lord. That's right. Yeah. Em, you want to show us the um, the kiln? Yes, yeah. they're running right now. Oh, a lot of them running. Mm, my hands are so, like, so all of this, whoa, that was cool. All of this has been fired one time. I only know this because I come in here every day. So like. This has only been bisque fired, mm -hmm. so it actually can't hold anything. Right. Um, so it will have to be glazed and then be fired again, and then you can use it. Yes. Then it will be this. Yay. This is the Find Me Thankful mug that you all love, that we run out of pretty find much. Find me thankful, find me grateful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it plays the song when you it sing does, it. It does. <laughs> it just Jonathan, the song. Jonathan shows up at your coffee and sings ground. to you. See, it stop. <laughs> Press my face against the earth. I mean, it's hard to rub. Good. So all of this is a glaze down here. Yes. And then this is our, our new kiln room, which is really exciting. Very this exciting. This told you about Lowe's Hardware. Like, so this is our two beautiful kilns, and this one's firing. It's currently at 1,292 degrees. If you, can, if you can video right here, it's glowing orange. When we have, when it's full of pottery, everything in there will glow completely orange. And it's crazy to me that it doesn't just combust completely, wow. but instead it actually turns back into stone. It's so crazy that this heating pressure system is yeah. actually what forms streaks into something that's actually really 
fragile. Like yeah. clay in yeah. itself is so fragile. Yeah. <laughs> part, part of me wants to just sit at a wheel and show everybody I how should. hard it is to center oh, clay. That would be fun. Daddy, really? Yeah. Let me get in and get a <laughs> This is a big deal the pottery department. So guys, I'm gonna show you how difficult pottery is. <laughs> I have never done this before. Oh. Uh, and these students that you're seeing right now have only been here now for how many days? Are you on day 42. what? 42. 42? Okay, 42 and they are doing this. Yeah. This is very exciting. Are you nervous? Very exciting. Am you I nervous? nervous? Well, not as much now I have this apron on. <laughs> like my... Okay, Johnny, so he's gonna give you a, a ball of clay. <clears throat> I'm a child of God, so this should be really easy. <laughs> this should be really easy. The, the Lord's, really the, I'm easy. saved. I'm more than a conqueror. You're going to see that right here. That's right. right. Now. No fear of failure in me. I'm going to watch. I'm going to just stop and watch this. Other than the lie I wrestle with that I am what I do. Let's <laughs> exactly. we'll see how that works out. Yeah. All right. I'm going to make sure it's secure so we don't have it flying off the wheel. So you turn the wheel on. How many of you guys had it fly away? <laughs> Definitely did. All right, I just got nervous. <laughs> You're like, oh. Okay, now you can put your hands on it. Your goal is to keep your arms really anchored, and the clay is gonna feel stronger than you, but it's not. Okay. So you're gonna hold your hands really still. You're gonna use pressure from this part of your hand and these fingers okay. to press it down into the center. Is there a scripture I should quote? One. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So rock your hands fully around it. Yep. Apply pressure from here and here, and it should, and then move your thumb so it can come up. Yeah, separate your thumbs. Like, <laughs> wow, this is. There it is. <laughs> I'm pretty much gonna. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you're doing great. So you guys are really good teachers, <laughs> and I think the essence of discipleship is that we are not born to do life alone. Right. We're not born to actually walk out our calling by ourselves. Mm -hmm. And that would be the heartbeat of the 18 inch journey is discipleship. Yeah. Um, right. God, God is not even alone and he right. doesn't want us to be alone. That's right. um, and, and we're found by a father and we're formed in a family. And so I think what we're all in learning is the do it yourself That's model right. of That's sin, right. the do it yourself model of trying to, yeah. to become what we're made to be on our own. Um, so, you just saw me learn from a teacher, and this is discipleship right. on your own. Are you ready? I'm going to make a pot, but I don't need a teacher. Okay, I can do this all on my own. <laughs> Here goes me. I, I've seen people make mugs. I'm created to make a mug. Here we go. I'm going to make a mug, guys. <laughs> I, I can do this. <laughs> You want some back. water? I know. Uh, no, I, I, I got this. I don't need a teacher. <laughs> Probably should use some water. <laughs> Here we go. Me and Jesus. Me and Jesus. This is me and Jesus. Oh. There we go. The do-it-yourself model. <laughs> okay, we got to let these students get back to work. We have bombarded their class. Thanks for letting us bombard this oh my class. God, Thank you. I just funny. learned a lot. Wow. You, you might have found a new... Practice, eh? I it's true, What's but I, I'm going into this with teachers. I'm not doing this alone. <laughs> so proud of y'all. Well done, well done. Uh, Thanks for coming. Uh,